everybody! Today, Godzilla uh, Freak is back with how Russian Navigator rescued by Syrian Army Commando Unit as Putin orders air defense missiles to Syria. Um, this happened on in Tuesday morning, November the 24th, and was published on the same day. It, this even happened in Damascus, Syria. A Russian military navigator whose plane was shot down by Turkey and crashed in Syria arrived on Wednesday at an air base in Latakia province after a 12-hour rescue operation by a Syrian army commando unit, Syrian and Russian officials said. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu told Russian news agencies that the operation ended in the early hours on Wednesday and the man, identified as Captain Konstantin Muraktin, is now safe and sound at Russia's air base in the government-controlled area in Syria. In a statement that carried by Syria's official news agency, SANA, the army said the Syrian and Russian forces penetrated into the areas where terrorists are entrenched at a depth of 4.5 kilometers and rescued Moraktin. Speaking in Tel Aviv, it said he is in good health. Speaking in Tel Aviv's comments from the base, the surviving navigator of the download down plane, Captain Kostatin Moraktin, denied that their jet has veered into Turkey's airspace even for a single second. He also rejected the Turkey's claim that has issued repeated warnings to the Russian crew before shooting down the plane. There have been no warnings whatsoever, said Moraktin, adding that he wants to keep flying missions from the base to pay the them back for my commander. Ambassador Alexander Orlov said on Europe One radio that one of the pilots was wounded, then killed on ground by jihadists. Turkey shot down a Russian Su-24 bomber on Tuesday, saying it crossed into its airspace from Syria despite repeated warnings. One of its pilots, identified by the BBC, http dot dot slash slash www dot bbc dot com slash news slash world dash middle dash east dash three four nine one seven four eight five as LT called Oleg Peshkov was killed and captured by Syrian rebels. A Russian soldier identified by the BBC as Alexander Poznich, Poznich was killed during the operation. President Vladimir Putin on Wednesday ordered state-of-the-art air defense missile system to be deployed at a Russian air base in Syria following the downing of one of its warplanes by Turkey, a move that raised the threat of a military confrontation between NATO member and Moscow. The S-400 missile system will be sent to the Hamamim Air Base in Syria's coastal province of Latakia, about 50 kilometers south of the border with Turkey. The systems have a range up to 400 kilometers and are capable of targeting Turkish jets with deadly precision. If Russia shot down a Turkish plane, Turkey could proclaim itself under attack and call for military assistance from its NATO allies. Putin says that the Russian plane remained, remained in Syria sky when it was shot down. He described Turkey's actions as a crime and a stab in the back, warning of serious consequences. He said a warning from the Russian foreign ministry for Russians not to visit Turkey was needed because we can't exclude some other incidents following what happened yesterday and our citizens in Turkey could be in significant danger. On Wednesday, the Russian leader ordered the military to deploy the S-400 to Hemenim and take other measures that should be sufficient to ensure flight safety. Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said Wednesday that 
Thank you. Russian missile cruiser Mok Moskva already has moved closer to shore to protect the Russian aircraft flying missions near Syria's border with Turkey with its long range fort air defense system. It will be ready to destroy any aerial target posing any, a potential danger to our aircraft, Shoigu said at a meeting with military officials. He also said, that from now on, Russian all Russian bombers will be escorted by fighters on their combat missions in Syria. He said that his ministry has severed all contacts with the Turkish army. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who canceled his planned trip to Turkey after the incident, described the shooting down Russian plane as a planned provocation. He said that Turkish actions came after Russian planes successfully targeted oil infra infrastructure using the Islamic State group, alleging that Turkey benefited from the oil trade. The Turkish Foreign Ministry said in a written statement that Korgan Minister Mevlut Kavasoglu and Lavrov agreed to a meeting. But in the coming days, during a telephone conversation Wednesday, but Lavrov said he has no such plans. Turkey informed the United Nations that two Russian planes disregarded warnings and violated Turkish airspace to a depth of 1.36 miles and 1.15 miles in length for 17 seconds. Lavrov shrugged off the Turkish argument that it had no choice but to shoot down the plane, pointing at the 2012 downing of a Turkish war plane by Syria in its airspace. He said Ankara argued in that case that a brief incursion wasn't reason to shoot down its jet. He also pointed at routine violations of Greece's airspace by Turkish combat planes. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said Wednesday that his country doesn't wish to escalate tensions with Russia. Speaking at an organization of Islamic co co cooperation economy meeting in Istanbul, Erdogan said Turkey favors peace, dialogue, and diplomacy. He defends his country's move to shoot down the plane, saying no one should ex accept Turkey to stay silent to border violations or the violation of its rights. Turkish Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu also sought to ease tensions, calling Russian... Russia, Turkey's friend and neighbor, and insisting relations cannot be sacrificed to accidents or communication. In a sign of the tensions, protesters in Moscow hurled eggs and stones at the Turkish embassy, breaking windows in the compound. Police cleared the area and made some arrests shortly after the protest began. Davud Davut Tanglu told his party lawmakers on Wednesday that Turkey didn't know the nationality of the plane was brought down on Tuesday until Moscow announced it was Russian. He said Russia was warned on several several occasions that Turkey would take action in case its border is violated in line with its military rules of engagement. Davut Tanglu said Russia, Russia is an important partner and top solicit of countries with which we have shown great sensitivity in building ties. The Turkish Prime Minister, however, re-criticized Russia and Syrian operations in the Syria-Turkey <coughs> region. There saying there is not a single presence of the Islamic State group there. Davut Haglu demanded that operation there stop immediately. The end of this press was published in November the 26th, 2015.